oh, here's the, here's the, okay. I, I just posted some pics on it. The, it's pretty sloppy on the top. I had the reasoning behind it. Huh. But huh. it's a full-size Darwin, a Darwin head. Fantastic. Yeah, now that's uh, PLA. Uh... This is PLA. Okay. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to ask you about was the trade-offs with uh, PLA, because uh, I understand that uh, you can't get it hot. Uh, if it gets over 110 degrees or something like that, it melts? Or... Yeah, I use uh, ABS for the motor mounts. Okay. Anything that touches the motor, but okay. I, I printed with PLA for about a year. Yeah. And, or not with PLA, ABS for about a year, so I was 100% ABS. Right. And then I switched to PLA, and I had a little bit of trouble, and now I print almost exclusively in PLA. And mm. the main reason is because uh, it's just so let so much less obnoxious smelling. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's way better for mm -hmm. it's way better for home use than ABS is. Right. Right. Well, when I visited uh, iHeart Engineering in Brooklyn. When was that? About a week ago. Uh, they were saying the same thing. That's why they built that housing around their uh, pr their MakerBot and then the venting uh, system, because they're producing production parts. All the parts that they sell, well, not all the parts, but uh, all the custom parts that they sell, they print on their MakerBot. But they yeah. couldn't stand the uh, ABS uh, smell uh, in the office. Yeah, this sits this sits right on my desk, like right next to me. It's like my printer is right there. Right. And that's where it is. And that's where it lives. Sometimes it lives right next to my monitor. Uh-huh. Um, so I'm I'm pretty happy with PLA. It's it's also easier to print with. Right. Um, it doesn't it's more difficult to drill. Okay. Uh, because you have to drill slower, otherwise you'll melt it and sure. then you're kind of just like it'll not won't stop your bit because your drill's pretty powerful, but right. Um, but for most you know that spoon I printed out yesterday? I uh, saw that. That was that was fantastic. A tea spoon. I yeah. I wouldn't put that in the dishwasher. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher or anything. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's. I'm happy with with PLA. It's like I was when I first started thinking about doing a, uh, selling a printer. I thought for sure that I was going to have to. Um, ship it with the heated plat build platform, and it is nice to have that. And I'm going to offer that as a, as a feature, so you can mm -hmm. do a larger ABS parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I almost exclusively print in PLA now, and I think that's it's really going to be the future of uh, of home 3D printing. ABS just is just too obnoxious. Yeah, I, I think people uh, have an affinity for it because it's Lego. They can un yeah. automatically understand it. They don't understand PLA. Actually, if you do a search on the internet, it's difficult to come up with uh, good information unless you go to, like the RepRap uh, wiki or something like that on PLA. But ABS, oh, it's Lego. Okay, it's safe, and you know they don't realize that uh, you can't put that in contact with food, and there's lots of restrictions on yeah. uh, on ABS. Yeah. yeah. So your printer will print uh, ABS as well. ABS is actually easier to print than PLA. Mm -hmm. PLA has, uh, um, because the uh, transition point between solid and liquid, mm -hmm. it, or semi-liquid or molten, right. or however you want to say it, right. is uh, so close uh -huh. uh, that you you pretty much have to have active cooling, uh -huh. or else it'll just all of a sudden, it'll be uh, um, the plastic and unless you're printing really fast, mm -hmm. the plastic will eventually uh, cool off mm -hmm. or it heat up. It'll like the heat will just transfer up the filament, mm -hmm. and then you'll get a blob somewhere up high. And mm -hmm. when you stop, it'll stop, and then it'll try and push it down through somewhere where it can't get through. So right. it yeah. needs to be cold, cold until it needs to be hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's slick. What restrictions have you run into with uh, PLA? I mean. Like the Darwin head would be okay, but if you try to print parts that would be in contact with the servos, that would be a, a real problem because the servos heat up so much. Um, I guess I don't. Uh, it's so it's more of a softening at the lower temperatures. Okay. Um, I I've heard some people talking about how they had they left their PLA parts in the 
um, in their glove box of the, their car, and they started warping and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I also saw somebody just the other day showing a motor that, or their their rep wrap with the motor like falling off, all bent because yeah. it, uh, it it heated up. Sure. Um, but those steppers get super hot, or if you're using the bigger ones, then you don't know how to tweak out the your current on your drivers right mm -hmm. they can get super hot okay yeah, yeah. but um as far mm -hmm. as for servos mm -hmm. um i guess it depends on your servo i know some of the the, the super high-end servos can get super hot oh yeah um, yeah yeah well the builders here uh at least the robo one competitors they put fans they actually mount mm -hmm. small uh, mini fans on the servos to keep them cool and then when they yeah. have a break you know when they're fighting and then when they have a break uh, they have freeze spray or fans, and they try to cool off the uh, servos, and wow. they'll almost blister your uh, fingers if you uh, touch them. You know when they're uh, yeah, running hard. Too much power in a little tiny box. <laughs> well, I was thinking about things like uh, wanting to print parts for a uh, quadcopter or multi-prop uh, uh, copter, and uh, See, something. There's, that... there's a couple of those on Thingiverse already. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. But I'd be a little bit concerned about using PLA for stuff that was outside, you know, in the sunlight and the heat uh, for a while. But, yeah. Well, you could also do all of your prototyping because that's what happens when you're making something. Mm -hmm. It's like, and maybe it's just me, but I can screw around in my CAD package for however long trying to uh, make the part that I want. Right. But there's no concept of scale whatsoever. And right. so it's very common for me to to spend hours on a part, like tweaking it exactly how I want it, mm -hmm. and then within 10 seconds of holding it in my hand, going, mm -hmm. oh, I need to change something on it now. Right, right. And so for prototyping, you know, just do it in PLA, uh -huh. and you'll do it in with, it does, you, won't, you won't even print it out completely solid, uh -huh. or just to, to hold it in your hand and fit it with all your other parts. Sure. And then, done, you could print it out in ABS. Okay. Yeah, no, that'd be great. And and there's very little uh, in terms of uh, transitioning from uh, PLA to ABS. Say, for example, I prototyped a part with PLA, and then I wanted to print it in ABS. I can use the same uh, output files uh, in that, or do I have to, of course, I'd have to change the operating parameters for the uh, printer in terms of uh, speeds and feeds, you know, that type of thing. Uh, I would actually, expect. it's not as... Uh, I, people... A lot of people will say that you need to change those numbers, mm -hmm. um, but it's they're pretty close. Mm -hmm. It depends how a lot of the rep rapper crowd, like the more of the, um, the more talkative rep rapper crowd, mm -hmm. uh, they their definition of, of a good part is way higher than what most people mm -hmm. would think is, and so they'll concentrate on all these little tiny. Tiny, 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 ins insignificant details, mm -hmm. and but in reality, it's like it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. I, I don't really, you know, you need to change your temperature. Right. But the way I, the way I print anyway, is I, I, I set my temperature manually mm -hmm. um, when I start my print. So if, if I'm switching between PLA and and ABS, all I would do was literally swap the filament. And then change the temperature uh, in Replicator G. I don't know how much you've messed around with the software. Mm. Uh, and then I print. So I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't have the the temperature control in the G code file at all. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I got that. No, I don't have a printer yet. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to get a printer. I've been excited about it and involved with it, uh, and uh, made you know quite a few trips to the MakerBot uh, headquarters in uh, Brooklyn, and then worked with the people here. But uh, I haven't bought one. Uh, I don't have one yet. I'm really uh, excited about getting one. But now there's so many, you know, so many out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my impression is that Japan doesn't really have a lot of these printers and maybe I'm totally wrong mm -hmm. it seems like a UK for the for a long time they mm -hmm. were dominant mm -hmm. and then it's it's finally getting in the last two years you mm -hmm. know with MakerBot getting over to the US right and it hasn't really been a big deal in Japan it hasn't it hasn't been you know there's a few people I think uh, 
people that I know down in uh, Fukuoka that bought one of the original cupcake uh, machines and uh, they were reselling that uh, in Japan. Okay. Yep, 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 that's it, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they were trying to come up with their own, but they've sold, uh, I think, about 300 of them uh, here in Japan, uh, primarily the old, uh, the original MakerBot uh, printers, not the replicator. And uh, recently they started... Mm -hmm. MakerBot themselves is only sold 300? No, 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 no. The group in Fukuoka that uh, was oh. uh, buying from MakerBot and reselling here and then oh. trying to develop their own. Yeah, but uh, I saw a post the other day uh, where they said uh, they'd sold about 300 of them in Japan. So, you know, it's not a major movement like it is in the U.S., but there's a lot of visibility. And one thing that uh, happened at uh, RoboGames when we were there uh, a couple of weeks ago was uh, Shibata. Uh, had, uh, you know, he was in uh, Mech Warfare, yeah. and uh, he wanted to do the extreme, but he wanted to do a shield, but he didn't have time because of his work constraints. So on the plane on the way over from uh, Japan, he designed the shield that he wanted, and he sent it to uh, Michael Overstreet. And Michael lined up a guy in the Bay Area that had uh, a MakerBot printer, and they printed it out, and they brought it to uh, Shibata uh, on the first day of uh, RoboGames, and he installed it on the robot, you know, which is really cool. So those guys, you know, the guys that came over with me uh, from Japan for uh, RoboGames, they're really excited about the whole thing, and then they've been touting uh, the whole... Uh, 3D printing initiative uh, here, so I think you know we're going to see a lot of that uh, take off here. Let's see, Good. yeah, you know one of their big concerns is, is of course, going to be the uh, print quality. You know the resolution that you can uh, get out of it, uh, and you know that that was a concern with printers as well. You know with regular paper uh, printers back in the dot matrix days, the a lot of people in Japan didn't like them and wouldn't use them because the resolution wasn't good enough. And then when they came out with the laser printers, then everything took off. And then with the dot mat uh, not date, dot matrix, but inkjet uh, printers, uh, they became extremely popular. Yeah. Well, I could I could see um, it's with ABS, um, you can uh, soak it in acetone. Right. And you've seen that, and that does that can do a pretty good job with that. And so, for some of aesthetic point of view, right? You know, yeah, as yeah. An, go ahead. Sorry. As an initial step, before uh, the printers catch up to you know some random plastic piece you get mm. from some injection molder in Japan, right. in China. Right. 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 Now, there, there are lots of finishing techniques that I'm sure that you uh, could use, you know, like acetone, or uh, we used to do a, uh, it was like uh, sandblasting, little glass beads uh, for finishing parts, uh, and you could probably use that with uh, ABS uh, as well. Put it in a rock tumbler or something? No, this is actually uh, a, uh, air, a pressure air spray with little uh, glass beads, and you uh -huh. just, uh, like, polish the part. And okay, it, okay, that's I'm intrigued because mm -hmm. I I would like to find something that works with PLA. You put PLA in acetone, and nothing happens. <laughs> 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 they just don't react with each other, or maybe they do. It just takes forever. But yeah, I've never. Is there like a technical name for that? Uh, let me look it up. I used it. You know, I used it years and years ago when I was in the factory, and uh, I haven't uh, used uh, you know that technology for a long time. But I'm sure it's in common use, and there's common names for it. I'm wondering with PLA if you could use something like a hair dryer or a... that's yeah maybe I, it's not yeah. so it's it's not really a, it it's here let me see if I can do a demo let's see how how uh, it would be a good way of doing this uh, I guess there's not it's not it doesn't really like melt into blobs mm -hmm. it just like loses its its ability to hold its shape okay so it's it's more of a de deformation type of thing. Okay. It just gets softer uh -huh. um, under like normal temperature, or, you know, uh, earth temperatures, natural <laughs> earth. So the behavior is kind of like uh, the shape lock uh, stuff that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. that would that would be probably pretty. You know what? I could do that. I could go get my uh, this is my uh, measuring Wait. cup that I use with my shape lock. Yeah. And see what happens if I I throw it into some boiling water. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. that yeah. I'll yeah. do that. I'll post it on my Google Plus. Oh, cool. Happens. Cool. That'll be great. I'll look forward to it.